Slow no mo, huh? Well, in terms of how this movie turned out as a result of that, the story behind it felt very slow altogether, snail-wise, pun intended. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be reviewing DreamWorks Turbo. After a freak accident infuses him with the power of super speed, Turbo, played by Ryan Reynolds, kicks into overdrive and embarks on an extraordinary journey to achieve the seemingly impossible, competing in the world's fastest race, the Indianapolis 500. With the help of his tricked out streetwise snail crew, this ultimate underdog puts his heart and shell on the line to prove that no dream is too big, and no dreamer too small, which was said in the film, spoiler alert. First off, let me tell you a true story before I get into what I thought about this movie. The first time I saw this film, almost four years ago, it was at New Jersey with my cousin. We were both young, and we thought it was enjoyable because of its use of characters and comedic humor. Now that I've watched it just recently, I no longer found it enjoyable anymore. I mean, a few things I thought were enjoyable are the animation, cinematography, and the voice acting. That's pretty much it for positive side of things. Now for the negatives. The reason why I thought the story and plotline felt super slow is because nothing unexpected ever happens in each scene. Most of the time, it's just him and the characters at some supermarket and community communicating with each other. That's it. Nothing exciting or intriguing happens. The execution and the character development articulation was pretty meh, for me at least. I mean, the characters were fine, but they just didn't bring any weight to them. That's the problem. But the one thing that annoys me a lot is the comedic timings. Bruh, seriously? You serious right now? I thought jokes were supposed to make you laugh, not facepalm and groan halfway into the movie. It is not that simple. Making jokes in an animated comedy is not that easy of a task. It takes real skill to make funny jokes that families can find hilariously clever. Take the Simpsons movie, for example, even though it's not really a family film, sure. But it still has some funny jokes that I found clever and enjoyable. Like I said in my review, the story was intriguing, the characters were likable, just the overall movie in general was awesome. Also, speaking of the Simpsons, there's this one episode where they made a subtle, hilarious reference from the movie Turbo. And if you guys cannot tell, I was on the floor laughing. See? Even The Simpsons thought this movie was mediocre. So yeah, to sum it all up, in the end, Turbo was without question boring. It was slow, it lacks in the story, and the characters were not developed as much as I thought it would. So as a result, I rate Turbo two and a half stars out of five. For me, I would rather watch Cars than this movie. Just saying. So DreamWorks Turbo, have you seen it? If you haven't, let me know in the comments what's your favorite movie involving speed racing. No pun intended, which will be a review for another time. But if you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. Also, as you saw at the beginning of this video, to show even more support, why not donate to my Patreon account? Link's in the description below. Remember, you don't have to donate if you don't want to. But if you do, I would really appreciate the support. That helps out a whole lot for both my channel as well as my review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.